man oh man here we go with some more second channel action it's sunday morning uh man we've just had a crazy busy weekend i ain't even got my mobile uh shop mess cleaned up yet last monday on the main channel we did a will it run on this rig right here so uh if you ain't seen that baby yet be sure to go check it out now if y'all are having a hard time guessing this uh around here we like blue patina the old blue rusty stuff guys uh it just excites me now on top of that y'all know we always find our old school mini trucks too right so uh anyways facebook no it wasn't even on marketplace it was on one of the little local groups thing like your local town has this or that for sale your local buy sell and trade page the page where mary may's got the farm fresh eggs for sale old jack's tearing down his old porch off his house if you haul it off you can have it for free you must take all the wood though you can't just pick and choose you gotta take it all if you want it dave down the road he's got his lawnmower up for sale and rarely and i mean rarely something we're interested in may pop up on one like old chevy love that just happens to be the right color and happens to be right down the road from me now old fate ain't got to twist my arm okay if uh if this truck was meant to be let's let it be meant to be let's load up what we need and we'll go get this thing hey yeah there you go we definitely want to grab that don't forget your tripod looks like someone forgot they had a bottle of water and we better get us a battery in here unless y'all want to grab that come along and do it the old-fashioned way we'll take our jump pack too just in case i pulled our battery in she's on the charger in the shop we ain't charged her in a while so do not forget to get the battery i'll still forget y'all hear how loud that motorcycle is i was probably a damn mile away cannot wait to move from here uh looks like we got plenty of o straps with us don't forget your tripod and we got the air inflator 9000 here's a good example of why i don't need anything painted because i had to drive this thing through some bushes the other day and uh i did it why don't you paint it and make it nice uh right there's why look that's how you just erase that scratch give her a little spit and a little scrub and look basically refinished same on our paint job there <laughs> it's a work truck guys it's a work truck there's that old deep cycle unit oh she is all there that's for certain for maximum winch and power you want a good tight connection I don't think so nobody rides for free grab us a battery and some water and it's go time and we'll be there well, i reckon i'm supposed to follow this gentleman on the lawnmower right here so that's what we'll do and guys we are back in the stuff okay we're in the middle of nowhere got this little puppy dog following you well, there she is now someone can't back up very good so we're a little crooked but that just gives us room to kind of steer there we got her strapped on and we're gonna see if we can get it winched on she's in pretty good shape a uh, little bit of us back here as you see but don't worry about that we'll take her he's old he's about 16 years old 16 year old wishbone and that's captain then the playful one he's wired like <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
that's the good thing about these mini trucks. You got plenty of wiggle room. A full size, you gotta be pretty spot on. Yeah, you got to give her one last go. <laughs> <laughs> Give her one last hoorah into the trailer. His son used to own the APCO station right on the corner where Love's is now. But I knew him all my life. And anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite useful. I used to drive it to work to Ada. I oh, yeah, that's a good a drive. I, had, I finally blew a head gasket out of it one day. That's really the only major problem I ever had wrong with it. But you said you worked it here in the woods quite a bit then. Oh yeah, well I, that's, I cut trees. I cut my own firewood every year, so I I scooter bug in here, and it just doesn't. It's it's so light, it never did get stopped, stuck anywhere. So he said it never got stuck. He'd have plenty of, of power for for toting everything around out of this little <clears throat> truck. Oh, I've I've hauled tractors. I've hauled that big tractor on the trailer <laughs> with that thing pulling it. People said you're gonna haul it with that, and I said she'll get her done, and we got her here. Hey, people don't believe me how tough these old little mini trucks are, but they're tough. Hey, I tell you what, yeah, they were they were built pretty well. So I've had uh, 26 years of. Well, I had about 24 years of good use out of it, and then the last couple few, uh, she uh, messed up, and I couldn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I'm a part changer. I'm not really a mechanic. So, Well, and that works out for us, I guess, because here we are, and they said they're kind of glad it's going with me. I guess they've seen a couple of videos, and they're excited to kind of see what we end up doing with it, which yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with it quite yet, but uh, we're excited to have it, too. If I can find those other two hubcaps somewhere, I may have them down in my ditch somewhere. It might be a little covered <laughs> up. But anyway, I'll get them to you. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you, sir. I know you, you, since you do it so much with them, you all can, can always use the parts and nothing else. A absolutely. But speaking of which, looky here. He even loaded us down with an extra door and an extra wheel. Well, and there's one of the hubcaps, too. I don't know where that thing came from. It may, <laughs> may have came off that wagon. When no. that, the well, place, it so, might be I from a trailer that. over there. I think we'll do any flapping there. That's to keep it from latching, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep the brats out. <laughs> Pull on that, and we'll shut that. Maybe. There we go. Been a while. All right, guys, we got her loaded up, and we're going to head back into town. That gentleman, Jack, was super nice, just offered us some fresh eggs. which I'm actually stockpiled on eggs right now, so we're good. Uh, but come to find out, I guess they had uh, found found the channel. They found you guys, and uh, they're, they're excited for us to take the truck and see if we can get it going and put it to some use or, you know, do whatever we do. He said even if we needed it for parts, he's, uh, he's pretty glad we ended up with it. And we had a real nice conversation just now. So last week I showed y'all a video where we pulled the spark plugs out of this thing and uh, that the spark plugs were gone guys like the tips were full gone uh, now I said they were AC Delcos well the spark plugs said they were AC Delcos I got to looking on eBay which is where I bought them through and I got eight plugs for like $22 so those weren't AC Delcos those were fake C hell knows because those are definitely not a name brand plug they were the knockoff ebay ones that many of y'all so what's crazy is just driving around guys like obviously the thing's running better but it just wasn't running like that you know terribly bad but towing with it i can definitely feel a huge difference uh it's running so much better so this baby came with a title she is a 79 and that's a love luv a light utility vehicle or little ugly vehicle now that's what some y'all call them uh, but i've always liked these little trucks nothing to do with it having bed hooks being an old school mini truck the right color or nothing so we got our tailgate up there uh, before we left and that thing's just 
I mean, who, who wants a piece of tailgate? Here, have a piece. She is a LUV with a RUF tailgate. That thing is rough. She is set up for dual towing action. And uh, he did say he towed her uh, a lot of little stuff around 2005. So I was a freshman in high school last time she was tagged. Hey, 77. There it is, Jack. <laughs> uh, I just told him about how I, I had a lot of these mini trucks and how I see the number 77 almost daily. My lucky number right there. And uh, funny enough, it's there on the tail or on the license plate. That rust did not discriminate. It got the bed floor too. Uh, this door is awesome. I think we'll clean it up good and uh, we'll have someone hand paint a cool logo or something and we'll hang that up in the new shop. Uh, that thing's perfect for a wall hanger. Here's one of our Chevy Love caps and then R. What's this cap for? Who recognizes that? Because I don't know what that's for. What does R stand for? Damned old Buick Regal. No, I, I have no idea. A uh, little, little rust up in there, too. I don't think I've ever seen a Chevy Love with a little chrome strip here, so that's pretty fancy. She's got her emblems, and uh, I always thought the mirrors on these were nice looking on this. It all kind of just works good. I think it. I think they're good looking trucks. I think the earlier models had the dual headlights. This one does feature the custom bumper uh, that's been caught before. I don't know if the whole truck used to be red or if just this fender was replaced. You come down here and it looks like we might have a couple different blues. So I don't know what's going on here. What's the door jam say? All right, that paint right there slicked out. Oh, you dang right. Looky there. And then looky here. You never know when you're going to have to roll down a window. So you just keep them in your pocket. Yeah, I was strapped. <laughs> you know, I keep them things on me. Uh, that's funny. He had those and I just happened to have that in my pocket. That body filler? Yeah, that's some body filler there. So shove that in the rest and she's been repainted, I'm sure. Uh, nothing too good right there. Seat don't look terrible. Looks like it had a seat cover and it kept it fairly protected. Can't tell if we had a little rat here or there or if trash was just breaking down. Uh, our floor mat is ate up and it looks like we got some custom floor pans yep we sure do and there's the air conditioning to keep that old foot cool these little trucks haul so much butt your your right foot gets hot just from mashing the gas so that's a built-in feature that keeps that foot cool where you don't get overheated that's there for you this side's pretty decent overall we're missing our mirror oh yeah we got a little rust right there around our vent and uh, of course they're rockers. They're holy on this side too. Look at our uh, plug wire set here. Looks like we got us a first time fit ignition wire set. The cutest little filter I ever have seen. Hey, there's our window crank for over there. Shoot, this baby's ready for a tune up. Got us a good fuel filter. Got another fuel filter, just the plastic edition. Inspection is protection, baby. Right there, we've got our old vehicle inspection. Travel record. What the heck? Is that a clip-on where you can uh, back up and see Japan in that big old rear view because it's so big? The dashes on Chevy Loves are always tore up, and this one's no different. Holy key! Boy, I never seen a key that big-headed in my life. You don't get that key mixed up with another one on accident. We ain't got nothing good in there except toothpicks, mice turds, and maybe a bubble gum wrapper or two. Oh, she's pretty crunchy. Front of the hood's pretty crunchy too. It's weird how these trucks kind of rusted out, but I guess if this hood was flipped up and they could catch stuff down in there, that would help the hood rust out quicker. Uh, the amount of rust I'm seeing already, guys, I'd definitely say this ain't a builder if I was gonna build build one we'd probably want to find one with a little more solid floors and the rear end not trying to plumb rust off of it but she's still a decent truck for what she is uh, our grill's in pretty good shape we're missing one tooth right there of course uh, let's see if we get this hood open hey yo we got some custom speakers up in there y'all see that before we go up front let's take a gander back here Mm, looks like we got a scissor jack, a little lug wrench, old Coca-Cola cup, and a sun visor. Boom. 
Hey, this thing had air conditioning at one point. Wouldn't have guessed that. See, our air duct is plumb full of acorns. Uh, alternator looks fairly new, or the fan's clean on it anyhow. Everything's fairly complete underneath here, it looks like. There's all your vacuum hose routing, and uh, just some general vehicle emission control information. She's got the 1.8 liters of whip that ass. She's going to time at 6 degrees before top dead center. Your points are going to be at a .018. Your spark plug's going to be at 30 thousandths. And valve lash is overrated. Who needs that anyhow? Uh, yeah, it pretty well looks there-ish. So it looks like we had a dryer. Uh, I didn't fill a condenser on the front. Condenser's missing. Looks like maybe the compressor used to go right there. There's a bracket. So we got a dryer left anyhow. And, yep, classic dirt divers on the carburetor. You can see how red that dirt is. Those are pretty new. So this makes me happy to see. I, I'm glad it's all here. Uh, we're not going to mess with this too much because we'll probably do a will it run on this rig and we'll see if we can get her running and driving. What's important is it's all there and it has the proper hose. They don't have a flexi hose. And I don't care about that. We just got to keep Mortsky, you know, from freaking out because he freaks out about those things. And uh, actually, I got to agree with him. I hate flexi hoses too. I just, I've never said it, but there, I said it. I know these aren't near as, as fun or as exciting. I don't know, you know. Maybe y'all do enjoy, enjoy them as much. But either way, I appreciate everyone watching. Now, what in the floppy light? Somebody needs to fix that right there. Got distracted. I appreciate y'all watching and uh, checking out all the stuff we put out here on the second channel. Like I said, be looking forward to that. And uh, let's see. Don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish a project. Even if your project for the day is just finishing some editing and going and getting another rig, get her dead. You can get her done. Hot damn, there's so much BSRE. We had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on!